Fox 9 Morning News. And it's great to have you along on this Thursday morning. The time now is just about 6.45. Fair warning, April Fool's Day is this Saturday. And in Maplewood, it is the second annual Day of Laughter. And Bear Roscoe shows us how the city is using a laugh-in to bring people together across cultures and across town with that one universal language, laughter. <laughs> well, at Fox 9, we're no strangers to laughter, whether it's planned or more likely unplanned. Oh, love it. Oh, 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 she's down. Delicious. Let's get out of here, surprise. <laughs> good to laugh. Scientifically, we know it's good for you to laugh, but here in Maplewood, they're making it official. This is Mayor Nora Slawick. You're proclaiming April Fool's Day, appropriately enough, a day of laughter in Maplewood. Why? Absolutely. So April 1st will be our day of laughter, and we're having our laugh-in at our Maplewood Community Center YMCA because we know when people laugh, it brings them together, it brings makes them feel closer. We're about building community. You know, Maplewood is a very long city. It's hard to get our residents to feel like they're part of the community, so the Laugh-In is a great way to do that. Well, of course, a portable plug-in laughter museum would have a fun house near on the side. I'm joined by Sherry Aronson from Z Puppets Rosen Schnoz. Your schnoz is rosen, indeed. And so tell me about a laughter museum. I don't think I've ever seen one before. Yeah, well, it's pretty unique. Uh, it, we've collected laughter from all over Maplewood, from people of all ages, from all over the city. And uh, we display it in these pop-up museums all around the city. Um, so... <laughs> People also put their face in a funny face gallery, and then they get to meet uh, the other people of Maplewood and see that yeah, laughter is a universal. It's universal. It's also contagious. <laughs> Here to remind us of last year's winning joke, again, Mayor Slawick. Well, we had a great joke submitted by a young man, and it's what chews trees and sings. Mm, got me. Justin Beaver. Get it? Pretty good. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> that wasn't bad. I might use that one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> As part of the laugh in, you can submit your own joke, try to win a prize. Mine always start with people walking into a bar. It goes left from there. So let's just go ahead and leave it with Ricardo Bosquez. How does this work? <laughs> yeah, so at the last event, there will be two tables set up, one for the Maplewood City Council, in which kids can come up and submit a joke for them and meet actual council members, and then another one for the police department. And we're really encouraging kids to come up and submit jokes to both if they want to, to meet members from the community on both areas. And there's no such thing as a bad joke, so please come up and even, do it. Even if it's a donor? A joke for the Maplewood Police Police Department. Yeah, you'd be surprised. They love that. <laughs> he finished the story. But I can't hear you. I've got a banana in my ear. But however, you celebrate April Fool's Day, whether it's with props, the laughter museum, or the oldest joke in the book, have fun. It's good for you. Back to you. The jokes just keep coming. That's right. <laughs> good stuff. Well, tomorrow, MAA checks out the latest and greatest, and also the lightest.